Um, do you mind if I just like borrow some distance for a little bit? Okay, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> so hungry. Ooh. There's some blood too. It's always my favorite guest slurping up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I just wiped that off. There we go. Much better. <laughs> You've seen Burger King, right? It's pretty. I mean, I wouldn't eat it raw. You, you gotta cook it. You know, a little stir fry. Mmm. <laughs> So how's life been for you? I know it's like living in the forest and you know, not everybody gets used to it. Pay for Wi-Fi? They'll have Wi-Fi. I mean, if you have Wi-Fi and an outlet, what more can you ask for, right? There's food all around. Mushrooms, onion, deer, rabbits, birds, people. I mean, you've got a whole array of food just to choose from. It's pretty good. You need to try it. <laughs> you know, my favorite part about eating intestines is like, it's like a bigger version of ramen. Like a whole little bowl of them. And depending on the person, they can be like, Hmm, maybe 32 feet of intestine, if you pull it all out, you know, out of their abdomen. I mean, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, yeah. You don't need all of it. You don't need to stop hanging it all, right? <laughs> Adding some teriyaki sauce was a really good idea, but I didn't know it'd be this good. <laughs> mm. Do you like the candles I set up? I think they, they look pretty good. You know, I always like the clean, clean laundry kind of um, candles. You don't want to get too many, like, if you have like an overpowering smell, it kind of just like ruins your food experience. It needs to be clean, you know? Like if I had a candle in here that was like tropical breeze and like orange smelly, it would ruin this hearty meal, which is got a really good umami flavor. You don't want to ruin that with fruit. Your fruit's like a dessert. This, this is a meal. a little bit of pork in here too. <laughs> Did you know that pork and human tastes fairly the same? Human humans actually a little bit more gamey. Depending on the person it could have a little bit more fat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what else? Oh yeah, human is a lot more greasy. You always gotta fry it first to take all the grease out. Pat it dry. 
then you could put it in your soup. It could be a blood soup. It could be like a miso soup. The options are endless. <laughs> so many and I just love I just love it how could I choose Sure, really. It's hard to choose. One thing I know is that I love ramen. Which is kind of what I made with your intestines here. It's really good. I need to drink some broth. Give me a second. <clears throat> wow. All the flavors in the broth is just crazy. <sighs> I knew frying it before putting it in the ramen was a good idea. Intestine ramen could be a big hit, you know, for Wendigos, not humans. Some humans, though, they like intestine. Human. I mean, obviously they aren't. <laughs> They're like, what night? But it's, it's perfectly normal for Wendigos. Don't, don't question it. Go any for another second. my little meal. <laughs> but I will be coming back the next time I get hungry. That is. <laughs> Sorry. I'll see you next time though. Maybe you can have a little treat too. Some human food like pizza or chocolate. And then I can just have more flesh. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank to our patrons for sponsoring this video.